<laughs> Sheik has been going on for what thirty odd years. Yeah, Sheik has been around for a minute. Yeah, mm-hmm. and um, what happened when you because you subbed basically? Yeah, it was it was it Mr. was coming Thompson. behind some pretty heavy uh, some pretty heavy uh, people. Yeah. It was uh, Omar, and after Omar, uh, the next guy that had the chair, it was a couple other folks, I can't remember, but it was Nathan- Nathaniel Townsley, yeah. and then me. Um, I've been a big fan of Sheik forever. Uh, back in the day when Sheik was, you know, like the, the number one group, I used to skate, roller skate to the music of Sheik, and I just love the vibe and, and everything about Sheik. And um, when they were having auditions almost 20 years ago, Mm -hmm. I wanted to be in the band really bad. But it was kind of already slated for Omar to be there, so, you know, it just didn't happen. You know, I went on, I did did television for a long time and a lot of touring. And then when it came about, when I I actually was going to see Nile in New York, and I was playing, and Mm -hmm. and he was just there. So I I just I tried to play my behind off just just to put a little imprint in his head to remember. Now it. Yeah, yeah, but it was it was for nothing because he had so many things going on. He was being honored at this thing I was playing at. So the audition it wasn't an audition. Actually, Nathaniel was going to do something else mm-hmm. and called me and said, "Can you do these shows?" And I, I said, yes. I said, of course. So I, I learned the show, and I, I came in, and after I played the show, and I actually in Gestad. Switzerland. Yes. And after that. Of all they, places. Yeah. I, there was like no rehearsal. I just had to come on kind of blind and do the show. And after that, they said, well, I, we think we'll keep you. You're a keeper. Yeah. And that, I've been. <laughs> so it was, it was good. It was fun. Nice one. What is it that appeals to you when it comes to the uh, the chic music? I mean, I, I can't um, think of it myself. But I'm primarily I come out of the clubs in New York. Uh-huh. That's where you know. That's where I learned. I came up during a time when, you know, there were so many bands and so many places to play in New York City. That uh, chic was some of the music that we would play. But even though they were called a disco band, it it didn't groove like a disco band. You know, the, the grooves were just so ridiculous that everybody liked playing the stuff. So every band usually had a one or two chic songs in their top 40 band set around the city. Yeah. So I just liked the, the whole chic vibe. I just thought it was killing. You know, Nile and Bernard just had this thing going on, and I always felt like I could really, I think I could play the crap out of this stuff. You know, if I ever had a chance. So. And it's definitely more funked out than your regular disco. Yeah, it's not like a disco kind of thing. You know, for it has some disco songs, but a lot of it, the grooves are very precise. You know, and, and I, I just wanted to, when I got into the band, I wanted to just accentuate that sound mm-hmm. the best possible way I could. And I guess that's what happened when I did the show because I really was trying to nail. It wasn't, when I do a gig anywhere, it's never about me, it's about the music. Mm-hmm. It's about how the people that are watching respond to the music. It's not about me and somebody going, ooh, the drummer. I, I don't care about that. Mm-hmm. I care about paying attention to the detail of what the music calls for and, and, and making sure that the people that are out there are enjoying that. And, and at the end of the day, if they like what I did, then I did my job. Yeah. But it's never about me. I, I, you know, I, I just never think like that, never have. It's about the music. There is some accidental singing going on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the singing part came... The singing is, is wicked. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Seriously. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, I did some, some background studying on Nile and... I honestly did not know when I first got in the band how much stuff he had done. Yeah, yeah, I kind of yeah. missed some the of the Bowie things. Stuff as yeah, well. man. Yeah. I didn't, you know. I knew he was in, you know. I knew he was involved, but I loved the song so much. And and we we were just playing the game in the, in the car the other day. There's songs that you would not think were a hit in in my community. Mm-hmm. You know, we call them ghetto hits. That's what we call them. Yeah. And Let's Dance is a ghetto hit. Is you it? know, Benny and the Jets is a ghetto hit. You know, so it I, really we so I when I went to Nile and I said, "Can I do? Can I do 
um, let's dance. And Nile is just the kind of guy, he's like rock and roll. He's like, dude, learn it, do it, no problem. So I did and we did it and it's one of the, the good songs in the set. One of the best features yeah, ever. Yeah. It's fantastic, <laughs> absolutely. It's, a lot of, it's really fun, I like doing it.